Welcome back guys, so in the last video I bought this Chinese buggy for $500 and the plan is to make it 4x4, quadruple the horsepower, double the travel and just make it look nice, so stay tuned. Today I'm setting up the front suspension and the rear suspension, it's going to be long travel and I was actually reading some of your guys' comments and you guys convinced me to use some better diffs, so I'm going to be switching over to Grizzly diffs which have a lockable um, and unlockable front wheel uh, drive. So we won't have any of the any steering issues that I was talking about in the last video. Super excited to get into this episode, so let's go ahead and jump right in. This is a comparison of the old spindles versus the new Yamaha Grizzly spindles. As you can see, just overall much better construction, bigger brakes, and I'm actually going to replace these ball joints with some heim joints. I'm basically going to utilize the stock A-arms, cut them in half, and weld the heim joints in. So now I'm adding some negative caster to keep the buggy straight. Um, if you go too much, then it becomes hard to steer, but I think I am going to install an electric steering rack on this thing um, just because I have one sitting around. And with time joints, you have lots of adjustability, so you don't have to worry about making it precise. As you can see here, I'm kind of just winging it. So check that out guys, I got the Grizzly spindles welded and it just has so much more down travel now. This is going to be insane. Next up we're going to go ahead and mount our shocks, definitely on the overkill side. But I had these just sitting around for almost two years doing nothing so I figure it's time to put them to use.
the front shocks welded on. This completely transformed the look of this vehicle. Looks like a proper ripper now. And with these shocks, I'm going to be able to achieve like 8 inches of travel. Now, these are only 6 inch travel shocks, but the fact that they're at an angle is going to mean we can have quite a bit of travel and flex in the front suspension. And I don't want to go overkill on the front because it has to match the rear travel. The rear is going to be a little bit narrower. So we won't be able to achieve as much travel in the rear. I think it's still going to be pretty impressive. Check that out guys. The thing actually steers. So I'm not a huge fan of the way this thing steers right now. I'm thinking I'm going to have to ditch this steering rack or relocate it. And I do also want to make this thing electric steering. I think that would... Um, increase the driving experience, make it a lot more pleasurable to drive. Yeah guys, overall I'm pretty happy. Now let's go ahead and move to the rear suspension and finalize that. Alright, so I had to relocate my A-arm tabs for like the millionth time because I wasn't happy the CV axles were binding and also like this, they're going to be protected by the frame. So check this out, this is a 22 inch rear tire and I was mocking up the travel and that's about 8 inches of travel and then it hits this so I don't know, I don't know if this hoop is going to be a problem, I hope not because I do want to go to some bigger tires. We could just cut this hoop off or make this thing long travel, um, which I don't want to do right now because it's too much work. Um, we don't need really need long travel. It's not like we're shoving a Hayabusa in this thing. So yeah. Dang, that's nine inches of travel. Of course, we're not gonna use all of it, but yeah, that's pretty good. All right guys, so I decided I wanna pull it outside and mock up my new wheels. Um, it is raining, but whatever. ripper guys 26's so we might have to run some wheel spaces because there's a chance it could hit the frame wow that is that's pretty tall and you know the shocks aren't fully broken in yet but that's that's tall and then these are some fatter tires for the rear these are 26's as well and just keep in mind guys everything is kind of in a mock-up stage right now. 
All right, guys, so here it is on 26s. I'm really happy with how it's looking. And you know, it's not too much tire and it's not too little. Definitely gonna get us unstuck from everything. So I'm super excited. Um, I guess in part three, I'm gonna have to find me an engine and I'm gonna install the engine. So let me know what you think. I'm thinking of putting a Raptor 700 engine in this thing with reverse or possibly a Banshee 100 horsepower engine. I don't know, comment down below. I really don't like the sound of single cylinder four stroke engines, but yeah, super excited. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. In the thumbnail, hurry up, take the picture.